Anna, congratulations. Thank Back you. on the top of the podium with a great time. How was it for you today and what does this time mean to you? Well, I mean, it's the second fastest time of my career, so I'm very excited about it. Um, I think normally I'm a person that runs really well in rounds, so it's really exciting to get these one and done races in and have them be really fast races. Uh, I think this was a pretty good race. I'm sure my coach is going to have some feedback for me, but I feel good about it. This was kind of a chaotic week, so I'm really proud to have come out here and just executed it well. I feel like uh, you really look like you have a lot of energy in your veins, especially after Paris. Was it a good kick for you? It was pretty good. I, uh, it wasn't my best kick. There were some things I needed to clean up. Hurdle 10 wasn't as clean as I would have liked it to be, which is why I think I was kind of making a face at the line because I felt like my race was really good until Hurdle 10. But um, yeah, I do, I do feel like I have a lot of energy. I think we're figuring out a lot of things. Even this late in the season, there's still some pieces we're putting together, trying some new things to finish out this season and start looking forward to next season as well. So I feel good. What kind of person are you? Are you uh, like really a competitive one or because in Silesia you were running with Femke Bull, mm -hmm. but here you were like the favorite. So which position do you prefer? Oh, I don't think too much about that. I think really every race I just try to approach it, executing it to the best of my ability, really going in and focusing on my, what my coach wants me to do, hitting the pattern that we've planned to hit, regardless of who's in the competition. Because I, I think if you race too much all about one person or whoever's in the field, then you can't focus on yourself and what you want to do best. So I don't, I don't mind going in an underdog. I don't mind going in as the favorite because every time I race, I want to race and be the best me I can be. We see a beautiful Olympic uh, necklace on your, on your neck. Uh, so this, this year is definitely special for you. What, what is the main thing you will remember except you know, winning that silver medal? Oh, the main thing I'll remember. I mean, this has been a really long season starting in October of last year just slowly putting pieces together, training really hard. I don't know if there's one particular moment that stands out to me more than others just because this season has been the culmination of so many little choices and little decisions and working on the little things even when I don't want to. So I think, I think what I'll remember the most is just trusting my coach and trusting myself week by week, race by race, and really putting the pieces together. And he brings out the best in me even when I don't want to practice. So, you know, it's, um, I think that's what I'll take away from this year, just the deepening of the coach-athlete relationship between myself and Coach Boogie and, and really trusting each other and trusting the process. Is he the main person in your career, in your life, who supports you or, or you know, brings you to this level? Or do you also need somebody from your family who you know, supports you the most? Oh, I mean, there are a lot of people. There's like my village, you know, my parents, my brother and my sister, my boyfriend, my close friends. They are the reason why I get this done. But when it comes to the track piece, it's, it's me and Coach Boogie. So I'm really grateful to have a lot of people that play an important role in my life. And um, I can go to different people for different things when I need them. When I need to be on the track and work hard and struggle and fight, Coach Boogie's there. And when I get home and I'm dead from practice, my boyfriend's there to tell me I'm beautiful and I can do it. So I've got a lot of people in my corner. I'm really, really fortunate. And um, this has been, as much as this has been my dream and this is my goal, I, I do this with and for my family as well and, and for my coach. So. It's, it's a community. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. And I hope you will have all of them with you in uh, Tokyo maybe next oh, yeah. year. Absolutely. Thank you so much.